Hi guys, and welcome to Nisa's Custom. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that hit hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you won't miss any of my videos. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you guys for sticking with me, giving me encouraging words. I love y'all so much. If it wasn't for you guys, my channel won't be the success it is now. Um, and with the help of God, <laughs> and if you can do me a favor, go ahead and hit that like button and share my video because that helps my channel out a lot. Today, we are going to take a SVG file and you know how you get a file and you want like, I wish I can change the color of her hair. I wish I can change the color of her shirt color her lipstick her skin color her earring color well i'm about to show you how you can do this but it has to be a svg file like a file you you know you can use on cricut silhouette and you can change it first thing you want to do go ahead and make her bigger and you're going to right click and you're going to hit ungroup. Once you hit ungroup, I'm going to show you what's going to happen. You see how all that comes off? Just say for instance, you want to change her shirt color to blue. And then change it to blue. And just move that back like that. And you want to change her stripes to red you can change it back see and her earrings well I'm gonna show let me see what I have to do for her earrings okay her earrings or her skin color is the same thing so I probably have to right click. You see what I did? I move, I moved it. So I'm gonna move it back. I'm gonna show you again. All right, let me move it back. Okay, you see this? I'm going to move her to the side. And what I did was I right click and I ungrouped everything. So you got her earrings and her bracelets and everything is one. So if you want to change that color to like a um let me see like a yellow or a gold or something like that. See how that changed? And you know, you can leave her, um, everything can stay the same. But if you want to change it, you know, you can change, you can change her skin color to a more, um, darker color. Like, not like that, but, um, like that. But you, you know what I'm saying, you can, you can change it. I'm going to go ahead and hit the back button right here. That's the undo button is up here. And that's the redo button. So on. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to see what I did. I went up here. I clicked that. I hold my left key down. And I just dragged it over. Until I grouped everything. And what you want to do. Is go ahead and click the right button. And you're going to hit group. So everything can group together. Once you group that together, you want to move your image over, back over to there. And see how everything is changed. Then you got her hair. If you want to change her hair, but you don't have to, you can... 
um, release compound. This right here is going to be another, another, another tutorial. So you want to move her back. Okay. And that's how you change your color um, of your image. And you go ahead, right click, left click, hold it down, move your mouse over until you get everything. You're going to right click and you're going to hit group. So everything is grouped together. So when you move it, ain't nothing is going to move. Nothing's going to move. And you can go ahead and print it on Subdimension Printer. Or if you um, have um, Easy Sublimation, I'm going to show you how to do that. You can't do because you know when you do Easy Sublimation, you have to cut it on your pad. So I'm going to show you how you can do that. So you want to get your girl and you want to go here to file, save as, save as hard on your hard drive. And you're going to change your site, your, save your type instead of Silhouette, Silhouette Studio v, F, v, V3, you're going to change it to a ping file. Okay, I'm going to just put um, girl. I'm going to just put that. Well, no, I'm going to put um, lady blue. Okay, then you're going to hit you're going to make sure you put it in the file that you can find it. I'm going to put it in my download file because I can find it more better than my picture file because I have to rearrange some stuff. Then you're going to hit OK. Once you hit OK, it's going to ask you transparent background and you're going to click Yes. Then you're going to hit Save. And it's already saved. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you the difference. Okay. If you go, if you wanted to cut this girl out on either you saying you got um, the dark transfer paper, once you, if you use this image right here in the SVG, you go to sin. And I'm going to just show you what's going to happen. This right here is going to cut out. And you don't want that. That's why you saved it. To a ping file. So I'm going to move this girl right here over. And I'm going to go to file. Merge. And I'm going to get the image that I saved. Lady Blue. I'm going to hit OK. And then she go right there. And I'm going to make her big like that. And I'm going to show you the difference. You go up to send. And see, and you don't have where it's going to cut. It's nothing. It's nothing. So I'm going to show you how you get that. You just want to cut her out. So you're going to go to back to design. Okay. You're going to go to trace. Open trace panel. And you're going to hit trace area. Then you're going to get her. Okay. And you make sure that everything, her edge, is yellow. Then you're going to hit 
Trace Outer Edge. It's, it takes a while because my computer is like real slow. Okay, and I'm going to show you what you're going to trace. You move it to her side and you're going to trace her out. And I'm going to show you another thing. When you trace her out, you're going to go to open the page setup panel. This is anybody who is um, using like uh, the dark transfer paper or the easy subly or the forever paper or any other kind of paper. Um, you're going to go here. You're going to click auto cameo. You're going to keep it at eight and a half by 11 you're going to keep it there then you're going to hit sorry i don't know what's going on okay your registration marks and you're going to click on and what i like to do to make sure that it's going to cut i'm going to go hit i'm going to go to send and i make sure everything is well in there so i got everything in there that is going to cut then i go back to design okay then when you print don't mirror don't mirror don't mirror your image or anything like that you want to print her just like that and you want to go to file you're going to go to print print preference make sure that it's um, eight and a half by eleven you make sure you uncheck the mirror image and you go hit OK and hit print and once you finish with that it's going to print out on your dark transfer paper and you know you just peel it off put it on the image put it on the t-shirt the and you have it and that's how you change you know the color on the picture okay that's it for this tutorial um i have some more coming on other different types of um changing the colors on the image soon remember god loves you and i love you too make sure you like subscribe and share mm -hmm.